<laughs> okay, Jude, come on up. Our last speaker tonight. <laughs> Jude, Jude is a senior from Ghana, West Africa. Jude is studying economics and computer information systems. Now, upon graduation, he will work in the investment banking industry in London, England. His presentation tonight is an inspirational speech on faith. Those were fantastic speeches, weren't they? I must say I am very honored to be here. Now, if you would allow me, I would like to speak on the subject of faith and why it is important today. We often hear, who needs faith? Isn't faith so meaningless? Faith is simply a delusional belief based on zero evidence, right? Right? <laughs> Wrong. It's been a long day. You just got home from a basketball game in which you missed the last shot to see your team to victory. Winning this game was crucial to securing a position in the regional championship. You're crushed. You're pretty much at your lowest point right now. The phone rings. Darling, it's for you, your mom cries from downstairs. You pick up the handset and you hear the voice of your coach. I've lost all faith in you. A brief silence, a click, and then a dial tone. That must be one of the most shattering statements you could ever hear in your life, right? So faith really cannot be as meaningless as we have come to think of it. In today's speech, I would like to address the rationality of faith in an attempt to persuade you to embrace your faith. We will start off defining the term faith, acknowledging the schools of thought which oppose the faith doctrine, and assess why it is beneficial for us to embrace our faith. A little caveat though, I'm not here to prove the existence of God. My hope is that his existence is already painfully obvious. On the contrary, I'm here to speak solely on the rationality of faith outside the context of religion. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, faith is defined as follows. Belief, trust, confidence. In essence, it means to believe in something, to trust in something, or to have confidence in something or someone. Faith tends to be associated with religion, but I say with confidence that faith is experienced more outside the context of religion than within. Well, Jude, what exactly do you mean by this? Allow me to demonstrate my reasoning here. How many of us, by show of hands, are 100% certain that there is a heart beating inside of you? I presume all of us, right? The amusing thing is we believe with such confidence that there is a heart beating inside of us, yet we've never seen it. Sure, we might have seen pictures of a heart by courtesy of a biology book or Google Images, but how can we be certain that what we are actually looking at it is, is what is inside of us? It is solely faith that we believe that there is a heart inside of us. Okay, do you ever get on a plane and say, hey, Mr. Pilot, can I please verify your license to fly this plane? We don't do that. We never do that. There is a silent faith within us that 